I'm now going to complete a directed movement using the handheld for warehousing edition from Technology Management. On the left side of my screen is NAV with the role center for a warehouse worker. On the right side of my screen is a handheld device running our edition. On my role center in NAV, you can see I have one directed movement. And on the right hand side of the screen in the handheld device, in the internal menu, it shows I have one directed movement to complete. In NAV, if I go into the actual movement, numbered WM000001, it confirms I'm moving from the bulk zone to the stage zone. So in the handheld device, if I select the bulk zone, and then say no to allow it to allocate me the next movement in sequence, it informs me I'm going to move the item LSMAN10, and I'm going to move 35 pieces. I enter the item number by scanning the item code or using the keypad. I confirm the bin code I'm taking these items from, again either by key entering or scanning a barcode label at the physical bin location. I then confirm the quantity to handle, I'm going to move 35 pieces, and I now physically move them to the new bin location where they'll be placed. I enter this bin code by scanning the barcode label at the physical bin location or via the keypad on the device. This movement has now been registered, and the device now shows me I have zero movements remaining. The nav screen on the left now is refreshed and confirms I have no movements left to complete. If I return to my role center, the queue there also shows I have zero movements remaining. If I go to my registered documents and look at my registered movements and look at the most recent movement, it will confirm the movement I've just completed the bin code I took it from, and the bin code where I placed the items, and the quantity of 35. If I click through and use advanced on the item code, I can check the bin contents for this location. I'm now going to complete a new movement. Before I do this, I'm going to have a quick look in bin contents for the item that I'm about to move. This item is LS2. And if I go to the ribbon, having filtered the items list, go to Navigate and Bin Contents, I can see that the bin W030003 is actually empty, and this is one of the pit locations. My role center shows I have one directed movement. If I click that and flow through, it shows me movement WM000002 and confirms I'm moving from bulk to the pick zone 200 quantity. On the handheld device, I choose internal on the main menu. It shows I have one directed movement. If I choose bulk zone and then say OK, and say no to me choosing a specific movement, this lets it then choose the movement for me, and it pulls up the directed movement WM000002. I now need to confirm the item that I'm about to move, either by entering on the keypad or by scanning the barcode on the item. I need to confirm the bin code that I'm moving from, again ideally by scanning a barcode label at the bin location. I then confirm the quantity to handle, I'm going to move 200. And I'm going to place them in the suggested bin, which is the pick location W030003. I enter this new position by scanning the barcode at that physical bin location. My handheld device screen updates to show I have no further directed movements. On the left in nav, if I refresh the page, that movement has been completed and I have no movements outstanding. If I return to my role center again, this now shows zero for movements. If I go to register documents and then look at registered movements, the last movement confirms my movement of 200 pieces of LS2. I can also confirm this in bin content for this item. They're now showing in location W03003 with a quantity of 200.